Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup as a gargoyle of Ashen Zari. We're an Earth Mage who's also fairly decently armored and smashing around. Our resistances um, are not, like, stupid, but we got a little bit of most things. Uh, some arc corrosion is always nice, particularly when we go into Zot and we start getting breathed at with acid from Draconians, and we'll see if we can grab that, but otherwise we're okay. Uh, we don't really have a lot of uh, scrolls of of enchant armor and things. We've got some, we got three enchant armors. We do have four scrolls of enchant weapon. I think it might be a waste to use it on my morning start of Venom here. In particular, Venom's not a brand that will be helpful later on. If we, I just realized I should have done a lookup on maces and flails here. I'm trying to remember, in terms of one-handed, so like demon whips and or sacred scourges, which you can't get a sacred scourge normally. I think it's a demon whip that gets uh, cleansed by someone. Demon Whip would be the ideal weapon. Morningstar is about the most powerful one-handed version of the mace. and Or Evening Star, actually, but again, super rare. If we can find those, that would be good. At some point, we'll probably roll read our scroll of branding, of which I think we have one? No, what we have is an unidentified scroll, which could be, I think, vulnerability or branding. So we'll probably look into that. Anyway, for now, what we're going to do is we are going to go over to Snake Pit. And we're going to try to clear the rest of that. We'd sort of left some things um, slightly undone. The Venom part of the Morning Star is not going to help much, but the base damage is going to be pretty good. We do have a ghost over here. I think I'm only going to get ghosts of myself in here because I think I'm the only one running on this particular version of Hack for a little while. Or Hack. <laughs> this is not Neck to Hack. This is Dungeon Crawl. So... I think we had three exclusions on some downward stores, stairs, and this one we're a little worried about that um, sorcerer, which is why we left. But I'm feeling, first of all, things have probably spread out. Actually, this is ideal. Drag these guys up over here. Did we just, I think, something hit that orc. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use our iron shot over here to try to murder that sorcerer as quickly as possible. Anox of Freezing. See, Freezing's a great brand for the end game. If we can get that on a Morning Star or Evening Star or something like that, I would be very pleased. So, I think we can probably drop down now. Now that there's no Sorcerer, I'm not worried about a random die roll suddenly killing us. This is all fine. I mean, actually, I could probably just melee these guys a fair bit. Um, I'm gonna try to poison the Warg. Can you be poisoned? No, you're resistant. Well, you so you can, yes, but... I'll, I'll just bring these two up, finish them with some stone arrows. There you go, base evocations reached up to one. And I think you might need a one to get the, the max bonus from Ash's ability. So we turn that on temporarily. Uh, there's no way for me to block line of sight and to bring this thing to me, so I'll just go ahead and beat the crap out of it over here. That's going to be cool. Okay, we got plenty of identifies. Hello, Saint Rocka. Now... I feel, other than the smiting, the battle cry, so I think we can take her. We ran from her last time because it turned out she had a lot of orcs around. Her battle cry became kind of dangerous. I feel like we can probably take her. Chain smiting is kind of dangerous because we have 20% less hit points than a normal person at this point as a gargoyle. And our armor and stuff like that doesn't help with it. But the rest of it, I mean, the venom. Oh, his? Oh, for some reason I thought Raka was a girl. Uh, can you be poisoned? Yes, you can. So we can Mephetic Cloud you and stuff. I guess the question is, do we want to fight you here or bring you up? I guess we'll fight you here. I mean, you do have a buddy. Nothing in range here. Oh, you have lots of buddies. Okay. So we still have to go and separate you from the pack, which I got to move here. Get you to move. If I move forward, will you move forward? I'm not sure, but I'll do this and then drag you up. So this guy's mited. So, being mited on a monster is very scary. What's my hotkey for Blink on this character? So, I'm going to avoid trying to avoid Blink next to him. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just Iron Shot him. I should have just done that from the start. I still don't know if the other stairs are safe. Because last time, when we started all this, we had, like, Mara over here. And a bunch of crap. Now, these guys were all awake, so almost certainly they're wandering around. I'm still a little scared about going down here. Although we know that currently, Raka's sitting on this staircase. With friends, which I don't like. 
I wonder if I should peek the other one and go down. Worst case scenario, Mara makes some illusions, and then we just go up the stairs to, to leave. See, this is kind of fine. What I'm going to do is iron shot. Whoa, it did not take. What? Oh, I hit the wrong key or something. Whoa, that was bad. I was trying to target an iron shot. Not move off the stairs. Holy cow. I think we're going to have to just come back over here some more. Okay, if we can get just Raka up. Excellent. Now, and if I start iron shotting you, what are we looking at? Murder, death, kill. Good. I just didn't want him buffing the crap out of all of his buddies. That is just what we were trying to avoid. So now, oh, I'll put, um, oops, not there. An exclusion on this staircase again. We can come back down here. Just to be safe, I'll just drag these three up. Excellent. Chop up the bodies. Thank you. And then come back down over here. And this is pretty okay. Yeah. So we're just stone arrowing. Uh, that sorcerer can be a little scary. What I'll do is I'll do this. Get my mana back. Hopefully someone's moved right to the store, or at least the stairs. Or at least the sorcerer moving within range of my iron shot, which is not the case. Although... I can drop a Mephetic over here, which didn't do what I wanted, but thank you for moving in range of my Iron Shot, although screw you for not dying twice in a row. Right now there's Line of Sight blocking, so he's not going to be able to paralyze me. Okay, we're going to do this. I'm just going to drag this one up and kill it. What are you packing? Just a regular whip. Okay. Rest, rest, rest. Eat. Seriously, I'm, I'm really offended that you didn't die. The way I wanted you to. This guy's gonna paralyze me at some point. I'm gonna die. Like, what's a guy gotta do to get this mother to end near enough to just get obliterated by my stone shot in one hit? Wait. Wait. Go down. There you go. Now. Die, you punk. Thank you. So pissed he didn't die from that last time. Okay. So, there's still lots of danger on this floor, clearly. I want to clear the area around this hatch, so I've got an option to run away. I'm also, because there's, there's a bunch of stuff. I'm going to verify that this is safe on top, although it's hard to believe a situation where it wouldn't be. Hard to imagine a situation where it wouldn't be. Okay, we can do a little auto-explorer over here. Most of those red blips are fine. Stone arrow, rest. These are, these are, that's an old image of someone I believe I've already killed. Oh, I was hoping you'd come. Alright. Now, we probably... This is seeming okay here. I think I'm going to scry, though. Alright. This is such a useful power. You can slow me, which I would rather you didn't. I'm going to iron shot you and miss... And iron shot you and miss again. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Now we've got to retreat. Because it took us too many iron shots. That is really annoying. Oh! Guardian Serpent can summon people near me, but... Still, that's okay. I'm... Oops, wrong button. I'm gonna, I am going to iron shot you. There we go. And then, just regular spell you. The stone arrow no longer takes... I mean, it takes mana... Which, I mean, I guess if I get caught out without mana, that's a little sucky. Yeah, you, did, you did bring that guy over, but... Um, who's blocking my escape route, but... We're okay. Oh, you got poisoned. I mean, you're still poison resistant. So, you are not going to take as much from the poison ticks. Man, those guys have really high evasion, clearly. Hmm. You should be fine. I'm going to make sure you get noticed. Okay, you've got some friends. Nice little lag there. Come on. Come on. Get closer. Yes, breathe poison at me. Oh, it's so scary. Okay, and rest. 
Guess they don't know about gargoyles. Why don't you sped up? Oh, and you're hitting me from over there, which is kind of annoying. Here, let's stone er, er, iron shot you. We'll eat. Throw. And beat you down. Okay. We're standing on the hatch, so I don't have to be too afraid. Even with him slowly summoning some dudes. Let's make sure to pound him first, though. And we'll go and escape here with Buddy. There you go. Thank you for dying. Ground. Come back down here. Do this some more. All right. It's slow. But it's... What the... You got a pumpkin head. No. Oh, it's Mara. Mara making illusions of me. Yeah. Do not like... Now, how many hit points are we talking about here, Mara? 144. Good AC as well. Decent EV. Demon Whip of Electrocution. So I want that very badly. Pain, I think, is annoying because it's not like percentage base or ignores AC or something. I think it's negative energy, though, which I do have one resistance to. Now, the thing is, illusions will not follow you upstairs. So what I'm considering is moving up to the staircase and standing on it. And hoping that that doesn't kill us in the meantime. And then I'm going to stone shot Mara. And I can drag him up the stairs whenever I need to, him or her. Boom. Deathed. Amazing. Hello, Demon Whip of Electrocution. So, Electrocution's not the ideal endgame brand, but it's sure going to do good things now. Um, we really would have to enchant it a lot, but the Demon Whip is... It's base 11 damage, which is less than the Morning Star. But the Morning Star has minus 2 to hit, whereas the Demon Whip has plus 1 to hit. More, Demon Whip's also a lot faster. Apparently, Demon Whip is slashing damage, which I didn't realize, uh, which means it would actually tear heads off of um, of Hydras. Huh. Curious. Now, presumably, this scroll here is a scroll of branding. We don't know for sure. It could be vulnerability. I suppose I could... You know what? I'm just going to identify it. So we have information. Okay, it is brand weapon. I could try to rebrand the Demon Whip. Now, the thing is... Its base damage isn't bad. So if we got something like Frost, it would be okay. Because Frost, or Cold, or whatever, is percentage base. It's up to 50% more damage on your attacks. Um, and in particular, we'll be looking for a Cold-based attack for hitting the Draconians later on. But other than that... Electricity is sort of the other really, really good brand for such a fast weapon. And we have Mindalay of 0.5 versus the 0.7 of the Morningstar over here. Morningstar has slightly higher base damage and is currently enchanted right now. So I think technically our DPS, ignoring the brand, I think our DPS is a little higher with this, but Electrocution is going to be much better than Venom. We're already hitting a lot of things that can't be poisoned. So... I think we go ahead and we remove Curse on the Morningstar. We wield the Demon Whip. We drop the Morningstar Venom. And then we go ahead and we curse the Demon Whip. And we go ahead and enchant it as much as we can. Oh, I'm going to move so I don't accidentally um, read the wrong, or enchant the wrong thing. should be a fair amount of melee output. Let's go test it against this guy. That's only 33% chance of triggering the electric, but it's, you know, pretty good. I think all the brands are kind of like that, a percent chance to trigger. Yeah, get iron shotted. Just take you out of the picture. I mean, most of our damage is still gonna come from our spells, but this is gonna be a way to preserve mana. And it's going to be a really, really nice way to do that. So we're still hoping for a cloak hat boots with some sort of brand. I mean, I could be cursing these. I do have enough scrolls, and I, I probably should. But at this point, I'm sort of just being stubborn about it. Now, with Mara gone... So we've killed three uniques on this floor. Mm, Bay Susan is still 
around. That's true. Let's uh, fail to iron shot you. These things still have insane EV. Now go warrior. Get some stone arrows down. And then beat you up with a whip. Okay. Yeah, so we have way more mason flail skill than we need for this. But that's okay. And we're very hungry, so we'll go ahead and do that. Do I want to continue auto-exploring? Like, I still don't know. Is there a chance the rune is over here? Pull back over here just so we're not too far away from the stairs. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys are super slow. I can just kite kite them towards the stairs. Staying out of damage range. There you go. Beat you up with the whip. Yeah, let me just kill you both now. Excellent. Rest. Ooh. Whack, whack, whack. Rest. Whack, whack, whack. So we don't have phenomenal melee power. Luckily, with 51 defense, I mean, 51 is fine for a three rune run. I'd still prefer, you know, nowhere it would be nice. A little more spell casting here. Um, I'm going to go and iron shot the Mamba, just because I don't want to sit here and get spelled forever. Uh, again, I'm going to do this, mostly range, avoid range stuff. Actually, I'm going to go up, rest, go back down. Honestly, even the middle area now, I'm because with Mara being awoken and these guys wandering around, I'm pretty sure. Iron shot, iron shot. I'm pretty sure we're we're very much in the clear here. Oh, you did the teleport other, right? Okay. Cursed halberds and things. Uh huh. That's not where the rune is. So where... I, uh, it must be in this area down here. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that, you know, we're not fighting a million people all at the same time. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. There. Die. Okay. Waiting for that. Also, oh, that's right, you summon Hydras. Although, apparently only for a limited amount of time. And our melee weapon... Okay, I'm very hungry, so I'm actually going to go and leave. Do this. Eat. I'm going to eat again, so I'm full. My, our way, melee weapon will chop heads off Hydras. Thing is, I'm actually not opposed to fighting that dude. Or dudette. But at the same time, I don't feel like we need to. I mean, it'll be XP, but at this point, XP rates are going to be pretty slow regardless. Okay, shields are up a little bit more. That's our base shields. What's our effective shield? 10. We do need to get to 15 to remove the... Um, some two hit penalties. Oh, you just teleported a lot of stuff. Hey, what we're going to do. Make sure to finish you off. There you go. Before you keep bringing more stuff to me. Not too terribly concerned about this, but I'm low on mana and I don't have a ton of health kicking around. Last thing I want is a huge crowd joining into the party. There we go. Rest, rest. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So I'm definitely thinking we're going down here. Okay, we do need to make sure the area around the stairs are clear as much as we can. I'm going to leave this door open, because otherwise it'll take a little bit of extra time for us to go through. Oh, who's coming from the north? Okay. This is all fine. Okay, their, their approach at me is a little bit annoying. But they're, like, delaying as long as possible. Mm. No, they're not wandering towards me. Hello. And rest. 
suppose I could have shouted too. Stone shot, stone shot. Beat you to death with a whip. I suppose these high AC people don't get affected as much from the whip. Well, I mean, it's okay based damage. Where the hell's the rune? Is it down here? Oh my god, it's right there. No. All right. Okay, I we uh, I think there'll be some item here at the end of this a little curly cue. I guess that looks like a snake. Is that the idea? I guess this area over here sort of looks like a cobra, fanned out, and then its tail. I get it now. So there's still unique on this level, but I think there's not like another loot bucket. So I think we just leave. Yeah. Okay, and with that we return to vaults to get our third ruin. Because we've got two. Okay. Pop up. Uh, spell you a little bit. Spell you. Rest. I'm wondering about grabbing, like, an agility potion or something. Oh, we don't have that many. Brilliance for super good spell casting. I think, I think we have to, like, just dance down, dance back up. I think that's just the way it's going to have to be. I really don't have to um, carry the Staff of Wizardry. That's that's not in the, the plans anymore for things. So seriously though, Cloak. Boot. Uh, hello, Enchanted Boots over here. That I never realized were Enchanted Boots. Uh, they're just plus two. So they don't have an ego on them, but being plus two, I'm going to go ahead and curse them. There we go. Partially bound in armor and fully bound otherwise, so we're going to get a lot of piety from that. And hat? No. Literally the only hat we've seen all game is inner inventory. So vaults. I'm going to hit zero so that we stop in the top of the thing. There you go. I'm going to eat first. Oh, not even full. I'll eat again. Make sure we've got tons of food for our spell cast spamming. Do we have um scroll of teleportation? Oh, we've got six. Okay, good. Down, up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Eat, eat, eat. Done exploring. Down. I guess we'll bring the one guy up. I mean, at some point, what they might do is lock us in here, but that's what, you know, emergency teleportation and stuff is for. Pretty unique over there. I think there was. Level 20. Feeling clever. All right, more free int. Good. Who dis? Oh, it's Deep Troll Shaman. Okay, you're not the one... That's got the ability to airstrike. All right, up we go. Whip it, whip it good. Uh, plus three dire flail. I think at this point we can just beat these guys up. I might be wrong. And remember, every time we, we go up and down the stairs, there's a possibility we'll get whacked a little. Okay, so we got a sorcerer over there. He can't hit us with paralysis because of people in line of sight. We're down to 7%, which is good. Part of me is still thinking, though. I'm just going to acid through all these guys. Eh, you know what? I'm going to change my mind since it didn't really do anything. Do this. I was hoping to drag you up. You don't have line of sight. Now you do. I really want me to go down, and you'll be next to the stairs. There you are. Come on up. Perfect. One shot killing over here. Nice. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. Move here. Then move here. Just block some line of sights and things. Beat you the hell up. Okay. Stair dancing is kind of done now. We've probably cleared most of the level. Uh, remember, we did get sentineled one time. <laughs> the level's 
virtually empty. This is a little dangerous to run up like this, but... But is it? At 14 shield rating. That's nice. Man, that, that amulet of reflection would be damn sexy. What what are you? Blink are cold. AC plus six. Uh, we're actually wearing a ring of cold protection. Hello. So we're going to remove curse. I might. Do I want to wait until I might want to remove curse more things? I mean, I've got tons of scrolls. Okay, when do we get the ring of the octopus king? What the shit? I don't know if I want to remove the protection from magic, though. We don't have a ton of MR as is. You know, two ticks. If we removed it, then we'd probably be at about a quarter percent chance of being banished. I don't know when I picked that up. But I'm just wondering um, if we want to wait until we're removing curse from more than one thing at a time. Like if we happen to find a pair of boots or gloves or something that's got some sort of ego on it. I'm gonna wait a scooch, although watch me die because I'm not wearing my awesome ring. Hello, seen unseen horror. Get on, punk. God, I have such rage about those guys. Now you can banish, right? Well, no, there's a chance. Or paralyze, both of which are really bad. Slow is not a problem. I'm just gonna wait. You can open the door, and I'll beat you in the face. So. Oh, we still don't know what you've got. Tell you what, then. Let's not mess around. Eat an iron shot. Tap through all these guys. Should be fine. It's hard to believe any of them hurting me. Hmm, big open door over here. What do you got? Convoker. Dire flail of draining is fine. Although, I'm going to go ahead and iron shot you. Or I will fail to do that. And failed to hit you just in general. Wow, you are dodgy. Control leather armor. We're not interested. Centaur warrior with the staff of conjuration. Okay. Shapeshifter. It's fine. I think we're going for Staffs of Conjuration as our build. Wizard. Again, I'm not going to mess around with you. I'm going to Iron Shot you right away. We got a ton of stones. We're really not using Sandblast anymore, though. Because really, anything that's sort of like low AC at this point, all of our spells are going to do great things. Mm, I don't think we need to, but I'm going to go ahead and Mephetic in here, which is apparently going to do nothing. Ooh, hello, Wizard. Let's break line of sight with you. Okay, good. You got confused. No spell castings for you. You're moving away from me, which is annoying, so I'm just going to go and blow you up. And go. Alright. Holy Wrath. It, the game keeps giving me, like, decent rapiers, and we're super not in interested. That guy's mited, but he's, like, base level orc, so not too terrifying. Priest of the Morning Star. I'm not... Oh, you didn't actually see me. Hello. Where'd you go? Yeah, here I am. Uh, I'm not too worried about being smited by a single priest here. I have enough hit points to soak quite a few smites. From, you know, one dude. Spellbook. Summon butterflies, which can be useful for blocking line of sight and doing things like that. I don't know if we're looking to necessarily learn anything else. I'm still happy about learning more spell casting. Uh, more mana, good. More generic, everyone gets a little bit better. Good. Less hunger, kind of important. The fighting the target shields is good. I think when shields is done, we might turn on, like, dodging or something again. I think that might be quite good, but yeah. I mean, our failure risks are all pretty low. We could squeeze a little bit more power out of some of these spells, but this doesn't make as much of a difference, I think, as just being able to cast more.
on the paralysis. Hello, harpies. Um, I think you're all fine. I don't think you do anything particularly weird, do you? They're fast. You claw for a lot. But I'm kind of okay. Here, let's use an ice blast. I suppose we can use our um, rapid deconstruction as well. Boom. That is loud as hell, though. That is really gonna get a lot of people's attention. Frost Giant, Simulacrum. That's okay. You saw me, so just come at me, bro. I say, I don't know if you open doors. I guess the other door is open, so you might have been like, I don't need to do that. Uh, Rakshasa, you're totally okay. I'm gonna iron shot you once. That's gonna be okay. I'm gonna iron shot you a couple of times, and then finish you off with a whip. Freezing Wraith is also peachy keen. Uh, you know, a Hornet... Even being high level like this could still be super scary, especially not being alone, because of the Karari effect. Yeah, Velocity, Arbalest, not for us. Actually, it's not. that's not a super good combo overall, but it's there. Okay, next floor. I think we can peek. Because we're not, we're not on the bottommost vault. It's the bottommost vault floor, entering five, that you've got to be prepped for. I think I'll put a cut in here. We're going to continue to explore down the vault. We'll probably get to, well, we'll probably get to Vault 5 by the end of the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.